or good afternoon and welcome to Art for Today. This week we are making art in preparation for International Dot Day. We're going to first read The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds, look at some artists and their artwork that are inspired by dot or dot-like things, and then we're going to get to creating. So let's get started. Now we're going to read The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Our class was over, but Vashi sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashi's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmph, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting, lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashi splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashi stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please, sign it. Take a second to pause and maybe talk with your favorite adult about what the story means. And then let's get to creating. Now I'm going to show you a few artists that use dots to help inspire your artwork. This first one is Georges Seurat. He's a French pointillist painter, which means he used lots and lots of little colored dots to create the optical illusion of new colors. So when you look at this painting, this is made from lots and lots and lots of tiny little dots. It took a long time. This is Vasily Kandinsky. He is an abstract expressionist painter, and he was really into looking at color and how they made you feel emotionally as he made these dots and these circles that overlapped and kind of played together like music. This is Alma Thomas. She's an African-American expressionist from DC. She loves color theory, and she loved to make artwork about either things around her, flowers, nature, or things of current events, using color and lines to kind of express her way. This is Chuck Close, a photorealistic artist, and later on in life, when his physical limitations stopped him from creating photorealistic art, he came up with a way of gritting and using these colored dots and paint 
that overall had the effect and the optical illusion of being a photorealistic piece of artwork. And this is Yayoi Kusama. She is a installation artist from Japan who uses dots in light and other objects. Usually they're very big and they're supposed to be experienced by the viewer so that way they can understand her feelings of how she copes with certain things as well as visions she has seen. So as these artists have shown us, there are many different ways to make dots and make them creative in your own. All right, friends, so let's talk about how we're gonna start our art today. First of all, it depends on what you're gonna be using. If you're using color pencil, you might wanna choose a small piece of paper or like a note card. If you're using markers or paint, you might wanna choose a little bigger. I think note card size or half paper size is the best size for this project. So take a moment to find some paper, find what coloring materials you're going to use, and then we can get started with your artwork, which will in a second kind of look like this. So in the story, Flashdy made the dot, signed it, and put it in this really frame. So we're gonna work a little backwards. We're going to first make a frame. You can do that by taking a ruler and drawing lines on the edge of the paper. I actually line the ruler up with the edge of the paper and then draw a line inside. Or you can just draw a line freehand, like I'm gonna do on the top and the bottom for your swirly gold frame. For my frame, I'm gonna use an orange Sharpie because I'm going to show you how I'm gonna paint over it. Um, you can use a Sharpie or you can use a marker, it's up to you. Um, but go ahead and with a color that is like orange or red or black or brown, I want you to create a swirly gold frame. So draw some designs. Remember, I want you to do your best. I want your artwork to look a little different than mine. So just draw designs that you wanna draw and not necessarily copy mine. So you can see my menu of lines that I'm using there in the middle. If you wanna pause and take a look at those and create, the next thing we're gonna do after we have made our frame is we're going to sign it. So make sure that you have finished your drawing part of the frame. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about how I want you to sign and how I want you to color. So pause now if you need to. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sign our name. So you're gonna put by and then your name. You can write in cursive or print, whatever you're comfortable with. And I want you to write whatever name you'd like to be called. So I like to be Mrs. Dykes. If your name is William, but you like to go by Will, I want you to write that at the bottom. After you're done writing your name, you can color in your frame with yellow or you can paint it in. Just make sure that if you're coloring, you are covering up all the white spaces, maybe using the side of a crayon or a color pencil. And if you're painting, remember to add water to your paint so that way you can see your Sharpie lines through it. Pause here if you're not done with your frame and then play when you're ready to start making our dot. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a dot in the middle with whatever coloring material you are using. If you're using markers, make sure you snap the marker cap on. And then around it, we are going to do a circle. The circle should be thick. So if you're using something skinnier like a color pencil, you might have to go around a few times. But we want to make it look like our dot is growing. Look how I'm keeping my art supplies organized so I can get to them later. I want you to choose your favorite colors. So you don't necessarily have to use the same color as I am. As we grow the dot, try to make sure there's not a lot of white spaces. Let me show you how I would do it in color pencil. I would draw a circle kind of far away, and then I would carefully just keep going around until I fill that white space. Now, if you decided to paint, check out my one on the right there. What I did was I did a dot. I skipped a little space and left it blank and then did another one so that my colors would not run together. Once it dried, I I'm gonna go back and do more colored circles. 
You don't have to do it that way, but it's a good way to make sure your paint doesn't run together. Also, another good tip is if you are using paint to wash your brush in water and wipe it on a paper towel between colors to keep your colors nice and bright. So I want you to keep making rings around your dot until you reach your frame. Once you've reached your frame, you can decorate around your dot with more dots. They could be similar colors to what you used inside your big dot. They could be different size dots. You could also do other little dots that kind of look like your big dot. I'm gonna leave that up to you, how creative you wanna be with filling the space around your dot. Make sure you take your time with this, pause if you need to, and make your dot really special. I wanted to thank you all for watching my video and making art with me today. I hope that you had fun, and until next time, have fun creating.